This horse here is supposed to be a commercial horse and doing its job. I don't know, the woman's had it a few months, so I don't know. It's not for me to judge anybody else, I'm merely saying. This is a commercial horse, right? If you open the door, it comes in. Yeah. And the first thing you do is always turn his quarters towards you. Yeah? And when you go in there, when you turn his quarters... See this? Don't touch me, leave me alone. Yeah? I'm not doing that. His advantage is he's in a stable. We've just put him in a stable to show you. Right? So, what the lady's been doing, if you don't mind, she keeps him in stable. So to get him, she feeds him over the door. Then puts a lead rope on him and does what she's got to do. Lead him out, muck him out, do whatever she's got to do. But, you see this? That's threatening. That's a threatening attitude. That's shaking the other side, so the ears back. Open the thing, look. And he comes straight round. I haven't got any food, I'm not coming here to feed him and, and like that, or to, you know, to bribe him. He won't kick me, because he's been disciplined a bit. But he's not been here long enough to discipline it out of him. Just gonna go out of sight of this stable, just gonna take a few steps back, and the lass is just gonna come to the door, right? A little lass, this little lass is not stupid. Right, she's been here with me. You'll see her on the film. She's only spent 15 days with me so far, spending 20 in all on her work experience. She's already driving pairs, unicorn, singles, all the different stages of training with the horses we've got in at the moment. So we just step back over it. I'm not going to let her go in the stable, she'll have the door to shut. I don't want to put her in danger. But this is supposed to be a commercial horse. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Never because he thinks he's got food. You see the ears, the warning, the ears back. But where he's been used to being fed, now we've proved, you know, what we're saying. This is what the lady's done. She's fed him, so here's a bucket. No, take the bucket to the door. Oh, nice friendly holds now. No trouble at all. You can get hold of him and, and catch him, yeah? Yeah. But look at it, look. Look at the attitude of the horse. Look at his ears. He'll pull back in a minute when he knows there's no bucket to have. Hey. He might nip and bite. Hey. Yeah. And this is an ill-mannered horse, in my opinion. You can, some people would tolerate that and say that's fine. You see the ears, the mouth going. Yeah. And you can say, well, we're tormenting him because we just took a bucket. Well, if you've got to take horse out of the stable and you need a bucket of food to get him to the door to click a lead rope on so that you can get in the stable, it's diabolically stupid with any horse, let alone one you want to use for commercial work, if you've got to feed it or it turns its quarters to you, that's highly dangerous. Now, one day, I promise you, don't want it to happen, I do not want it to happen, that will kick somebody. Now if he happens to be, you've just got your head down like this, you've got your food there, and he ain't quite ready to open the door, he could kick you straight in the head. He behaves exactly like a stallion, you see him up here, trying to smell the horse next door. He behaves, he's not a rig, but he behaves exactly that way. What it is, he's too full of himself, too much confidence in himself. With me, he ain't so keen, you know, you do. But you see, look now, see the attitude? And that's with me. And you see what he's like with a little girl worse, and with the owner, if she's got to feed him to get him out of the stable, this, this is just ridiculous. That is not, these horses are not safe for them two reasons. So they've come here for me to do the best I can with, and which I've done in the time I've been allocated to do it. That's it, that's all I can say, yeah? You do, stand still. But all the time he can push the boundaries, another one, ears back, turn his ass towards you, threatening you, and that's it. Exactly the same as you see behaviour in a field with horses. One will put his ears back, turn his ass, keep away from me, I'm eating this, hey, you stay away. He thinks he's in charge, but if this horse the size of this, well, Shetland Pony would hurt you, but if he kicks you by cross, he'd kill you. Catch you right, you're dead. Right? But he's not a bad horse, really, but it's just, he's led to have this attitude. Look, you want to learn to read horses, and if you can read horses and understand, watch horses in the field, they're the best place to learn, it's the best encyclopedia you'll ever get to behaviour of horses. 
The point I'm trying to make, you're doing a wedding, that's what this lady does his wedding. So you go to a location and you put your horses together. That might be in a, a, a quite often is in a public space. Um, wherever you can do it, you know, is what you do. So, what if you're in a public space, you bring the horse off the lorry, tie him up on the side, and he won't tolerate people behind him, whilst you're getting the harness, or you're doing something, you've got your back turned for a second, and you get somebody come up behind and it kicks them, what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to claim off the insurance, and that's why insurance costs so much money these days, why they're going to stop driving on the road one day, because people, the standards are falling all the time, because the old horsemen and people that knew what they were doing are not around anymore, and the standards are dropping. Uh, and there's no different today, the horse ain't changed, it's the people that have changed, haven't got the ability or the know-how anymore. I'm not saying I'm the best man in the world with horse, but, you know, and I'm not lecturing anybody. I'm just saying, unless we keep these standards, they'll stop this driving. I keep saying this, discipline in this day and age is a dirty word. Discipline is nothing to do with smacking. Hitting with a piece of that blue plastic pipe I've seen them hit with. Kick them, beat them. It's nothing to do with that. that that's, it's far from it. It's a million miles from that. It's not discipline, that's cruelty. What you need to do is to say to horse, that is your place, that is what I want you to do, and you will do it. Never ask horse to do more than the horse can do, because it's ridiculous. You've got to ask what the horse can do. But if I'm a liar, if I've got it wrong, if I don't know what I'm talking about, how do all my horses do what they do on the films you see? 150 films on YouTube, people all over the world, you know, asking me would I go out there, break horses, you know, there'll always be a place for you here. We pay all your flights and all that, constantly, all the time. I'll show you the emails. You know, I, I'm not interested. I'm the only person not interested in people. I'm interested in horses. And then I'm having a good start and being happy in what they do. But don't smack him. I'll stand there until he does it, yeah? And then he's happy because he knows his place. Like any horse knows their place in the herd. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. I'm not a genius with horses or any nonsense like that. Anybody can do it, but look at it from the right way. There's always hierarchy. I've got to be at the top, so they do what I ask them to do, right? You know, you haven't got to hit them, kick them, or hurt them, but you've got to be brave enough to do it, and the standards are falling all the time. People say, oh, he said, you know, break this. Nothing to do with breaking this spirit. I, I want my horses to have as much spirit as they could, you know, much spirit as they want to have, but that wants to be tempered and controlled. When you see my horses going down the road, their ears are pricked, their knees are up, they're enjoying it, going out, doing their job. I don't hit them, you never see me use a whip. I might have one on there occasionally to tap one horse up and like that, but 90% of the time I don't use a whip and I drive them in a piece of soft rubber. I'm not gotten down on the bit pulling their heads off and they're doing what I say, not because I can stop them with a big lump of metal, because I asked them to. That's discipline.